Hey, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make basses like the ones in the track Elevate This Sound by Calix and TV. So, this is the original version. We're gonna be focusing on the sub. This is my recreation. Against the original, one more time. There you go. But before we get started with the video, if you're new here, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos. We have a lot of content. And if you're already subscribed, share this with someone who you think would appreciate having this resource. This helps support the channel a lot and it helps us continue making these videos. Also, if you want to get access to more in-depth lessons and tutorials, we have many courses with pro artists and a lot of production resources on our website. And that also supports us a lot. So if you want to boost your learning process, you can go to our website and check out our courses. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initialized patch. And I'll show you the notes in one moment. For now, let's just focus on the sound design. I'm gonna load two basic waveforms. In this case, two sine waves on each oscillator. And we're gonna bring the random factor of the faces all the way down. That way we get a consistent sound every time. We're also gonna add a bit of release so we don't click a lot at the end of each note like this. And next we're going to add a little bit of transient by modulating the master tuning of Serum with Elephone number two. Let's do it 19 points because that's two octaves. And let's bring the sustain and the decay down. Just like that. And now let's go into the effects and we're gonna add a bit of soft clip. just to add a bit more of a transient into the sound. And next we're going to map a macro into the fine tuning of oscillator B. We're gonna rename this rate. And now let's jump into creating the riff of the sound. Okay, so here are the notes for the sound, but before you continue, I just wanna let you guys know that if you wanna learn all about bass programming, meaning how to create your own basses and then how to create riffs with them for any genre, like liquid, neuro, deep, minimal, jump up, etc., you can visit our website, dmbacademy.com, we have this course on our DMB Foundations program. So continuing with the video, the progression of this bass line is just F, an octave of F, and then the fifth of F, which will be C. And then we go back into the D sharp, which will be the seventh note of the scale. Back to F, back to the seventh. And now for the special movement that happens here, we gotta go back into our rate knob and then automate this to go up and what this will do is it will cause the phase cancellation between these two oscillators to happen thanks to the detune and that will create the little oscillation so the riff is comparing it into the origin comparing it with the original so that's gonna be it for the sound and also for this video if you liked it make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos and if you want to get access to preset and the project files, you can become a member of preset pass. The link is in the description below. So that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.